Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to The Outer Worlds, where uh, we only have a couple more side quests left for us, or at the very least, that we know about. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door, and you say... I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Oh, uh, hmm. having a rough day? I lost a shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. So anyway, besides the knock, knock joke, uh, we've only got a couple side quests to worry about, or that we know about, uh, from Byzantium, and then after this... Uh, after that, we will be able to proceed with the main quest. But let's talk to this insurance agent. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster-related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Uh, duly noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. I can own multiple dismemberment policies? Um, I need to change the beneficiary on Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Um. Let's stay on topic. Oh, oh, what else can you tell me? Are you serious? Well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. Um, so how would I amend that claim? You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Okay, but how would I change it? Completely different suggestion. Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Uh, Marilyn Fenhill isn't dead. Of course she is. The paperwork says so. I like to think she's dead in spirit, but technically, legally, and regretfully, I'm still Marilyn Fenhill. That's impossible. By all accounts, she was an elegant and classy woman with impossibly fine bone structure. That couldn't possibly be you. <laughs> That's gotta be the nicest thing anyone said to me in a long while. Um, let us intimidate. You'll do this or you'll be filing your own claim. Please. My policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. <laughs> Very well. I'll do it. But then you've got to go. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill? If you say so. The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Um... Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. You know, um, that makes actual sense considering the fact that... Like, earlier in the same conversation, she says that, Oh, Ellie, like, Marilyn Fenhill must be dead. The paperwork says so. If the paperwork says so, it must be true. Um, if you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Um, that's all for now, I guess. Captain, got a minute? Uh, sure. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. If that's all you wanted, you could have just stayed in Byzantium. 
Being a surgeon out there isn't as great as it seems. At least half your day is paperwork and red tape. No amount of money is worth dealing with that. I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. <laughs> Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Uh, no, we'll just try to find a different scam. Cut to the chase, Ellie. Sure. You did my job, so here's your fee. I appreciate it, but I didn't do this for the money. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? You're my friend, Ellie. That is what friends do. Friends scam insurance policies for friends. It's it's what they do. It's uh, it's a requirement for being a friend. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. Let's see, I'm a doer, not a talker. Let's just leave it at that. We're better off when we're part of the team. We can make it out of here alone. Friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not the people we care about? You don't have to get all mushy about it. I don't have to, Still, but I am. Got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. So you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Wouldn't want to be in debt indebted to me, huh? It's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy feelies, huh? Ah! Is that all of the companion quests? That's all of the companion quests. Alright, let's move on. Alright, let's see how terrible her perk is. These perks aren't really necessarily that great. Um, we are beyond the grave. Reg reduce the cost of bribing people. Actually, that's not that bad. All right, let's go make a movie. For all audition, please use the elevator on the left. Although I suppose I don't exactly know what kind of movie it is. Is this Ruth Bellany also going to be starring? Will I get to play up every scene? Chew the scenery? My cousin's in pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. If you could just leave me back at the ship, I'm sure there's something I ought to be fixing now. No, no, no. Uh, you could also star in the movie. What's that supposed to mean? No, no, no. Don't question yourself. Just feel the scene and go with it. I got a feeling you'll know what to do. We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. And because Josh is paying to see their logo on the big screen. I can work with that, I suppose. See, I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. All right. Are those other guards dummies, or...? Well, well. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late. All of this Settlement CNP Hungry Time food pills, same nutritional value, but now with added filler. Are <laughs> ours. I appreciate the half-acting, half, half, uh, the half-storytelling, and... ...and baseline and vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. ...and also half-advertisement. Jokes on you, idiot. Those crates are just decoys. They... they are? What an unexpected twist. You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Are we on camera now? Because I really don't care to be. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down. The Battle of Axajax? That Axajax sounds like a cleaning product. The things you just described are scientifically impossible. Hey, I didn't write this. Just go with it. <laughs> I had you surrounded and outgunned. 
but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launch. Okay, this is the second commercial so far. For five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. Exude wordless fury. Um, is this where we're dumping backstory? Because that should come up earlier. <laughs> That's what you think. Yes, it is. I have this whole port wired with some micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Say nothing, but make your eye twitch a little. Speechless, I see. It is a flawless plan. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Let's see you try. I... Line... Never mind, I think that's seen. To the break room, everyone, I need my Moab fizzy tea. Cut, cut. That was interesting, kid. Real novel take. Let's take five. Um... Okay. I guess we're in a, like a star. Walk and talk with me. Hey, listen, uh, I appreciate what you tried there. Um, we've got to review your footage before we make a final decision, though. Um, okay. Here, take this for making the trip down here. Don't call us. We'll call you. Wow, that was something, I guess. On with the main quest. All right, let's talk to uh, Phineas's uh, contact, Carmen Emagoa. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Yes. Roll your eyes and sigh dramatically. I... oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Yes! Um, why do you sound so surprised? Nothing, it's just... I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah. That's my codename for... You know. Our mutual friend. Oh, for Phineas? Uh, what's your code name? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. Do, do I get a cold code name? Do I have a... <laughs> do I have a code name? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Is it because I love Cocoa Puffs? No way, I'm Golden Eagle. You could be Cuckoo. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one, too? Fine, but make it a really good one. Let's go with Rufus Hummingbird. Damn it, now I want Rufus Yet. Hummingbird. Codenames are for <laughs> amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Oh, 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 can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be Raven or Sparrowhawk? Aw. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? Um, yeah. I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Mm. There's got to be a way to catch the Minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Um, can't you get me into the minister's estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Oh, breaking and entering. Um. Okay, so what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. 
Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. All right. That's theft, but not reconnaissance. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. Okay. Um, so long... Cuckoo? Yeah, that's uh, your nickname now. Uh, looks like I got work Good to hunting, do. Golden Eagle. Ah, level up. Although now I'm only two levels away from max uh, level for, for this uh, game. Ah, the Billings... Billingsley... The... Billingsley something something. Ah, and it's Mr. Billingsley himself. Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Um... Hmm, didn't know I was talking to such a big shot. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. <laughs> What's so important about guarding Minister Clark? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> well, aren't there other guards in your group? I a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. Uh, congratulations. A key, you say? That's right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. How about I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. That's the idea, sure Pravati. Because today's my big day! He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Um, I'll leave you to it. Because I don't have one on my person. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? One part purple spectrum vodka, one part artificial tomato-like substitute juice. We call it a Blue Bloody Mary. Um... Tomato-like substitute juice. Mmm, -mm. I could use a drink. Then you'll want to speak with our auto mechanical inebriation assistant, located just over there. I guess so. Uh, why talk to the bartender to order a drink when I can go to the bartender mechanical? Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Um, uh, pre pre-approved banter. How could I resist? Request confirmed. Banter protocol. Activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that despite being an extremely valuable, one-of-a-kind creation, I have been programmed to simulate self-loathing and contempt for myself? Um, I'll have a drink. Let's see, glacier water, iceberg, whiskey, rum and something, spectrum vodka. Just one, please. All right, sir. It's time to get you drunk. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met before? Um, no. Uh, here's your to your promotion. Here's to me. <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow. Listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. 
<laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Um. Okay. Please allow me to. Hey, you look for. Here's another. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow, you got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Uh, oh, wow, God. thanks. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Uh, no, you're not even seeing one of us. How, how about another one? I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Yeah. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay, thank you, Pravati, for moving. I just need to sit down. Oh my god! <laughs> he died! <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> uh... Quest complete. Oh, dip. all right. Let's go uh, track down this Minister Clark. Or actually, we're supposed to get his uh, chemicals. Also, why should I necessarily feel bad about making? I guess the the method. It's the method that really kind of changes things. Like if you shoot some marauders, that's one thing. But if you make them somebody drink, if you encourage somebody to drink themselves to death. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. <laughs> I'm here for Minister Clark. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Um... Was the minister Mr. expecting Clark's a delivery? A private man, and you're asking too many questions. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go to the uh, Universal Parcel Service. Uh, again, get ourselves a package. Nicely done. Uh, it's a good thing nobody's watching this area, otherwise, this might be trickier. But that was fast. Oh, hello. Remember me, the gal who came by wanting to talk to the minister and asked about packages? Well, There's here's a package. Here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. Ma'am, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Yeah, you thanks. Any actual business here, or...? Uh, delivery for the minister. Yeah. Let's see it. I've got the parcel right here. Hmm. Looks like your papers are in order. All right, go on through. Thank you for your time. Now, does this mean I can essentially explore the residence at my leisure? Or am I going to be fighting bad guys while inside here as well? Also, is it just me or do the Hammersmith, Hammersmith brothers look like children?
Like, they don't quite look like adults underneath those masks. How did you get in here? I went through the door. Um, I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. You, you're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain, Captain, that's the minister. Mr. Clark. Oh, wow. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Um. Why would I want something like that? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. <laughs> I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Um, calm down. I'm just here to ask you some questions. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real, live dissident? Genuine article in the flesh. What are you doing here? And how did you get in? Um, I'm here for the demethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Yes, that's what I'm... Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative <laughs> goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Will that be all then? Um, I have records proving you've been hoarding demethyl ox uh, sulfoxide. Um, they're not drugs or chemicals, and if you haven't been ordering them, who has? Process of elimination. The only other person with access? Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You mean Chairman Rockwell's locked you up here? You are a quick study, indeed. Okay, are you going to stop talking me to me slowly and loudly? Business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Why would he go through all the trouble? How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out. Which explains why Minister Clark never right. actually leaves his house. Not because doing, of choice or fear, because he's not allowed to. Headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me. Things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. Yep. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? I like how he's already on board with this. starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Um... Just, uh, tell me where to- how to get there. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Um, once I get into the Acropolis district, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. What used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. 
I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. Um, then I'll be on my way. Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message oh. drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. I wonder if Earth just Once cut Halcyon the off. Earth sees it, they'll like have the Earth Director, it has more or less just cut ties. For... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. All right, I suppose that's a decent plan. Perhaps there is hope after all. It's better and to do something to, than to do nothing. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Better to be going to the Acropolis District than the Necropolis District. Is what I say. All right, now I actually have reason to go to the Acropolis District. What is it now? Um, I'm back with my money. Want to try this bribery thing again? As I recall, you were saying something about being tired and needing a breather. Uh, these 1919 bits have been weighing me down all day. Here, you hold on to them. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Goodbye. I wonder if I could have just fought my way in there. I mean, I probably could have, but... That might have made other things more complicated. Okay, what have we here? You ever get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? No. No, I don't. Beatrice Reichart. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Huh. I didn't realize Anti Clio was actually a subsidiary. For some reason, I thought that Anti Clio was actually the head brand, but. You hear about that dissident working in that clothing store? This is why we've got to state your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Um, is this official enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate. Uh. That's I, that's ridiculous. It's procedure. Now let's see. Damn it! When did I run out of forms? Maybe uh, having an individual form for each weapon was probably the biggest problem. Oh, what a shame! You don't have to be sarcastic about it. <laughs> Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms, and I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and wave your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Okay, good to know. Do not want the walls painted with my internals. Or even my externals, really.
Percival Platt. If you'll forgive my saying so, that outfit looks splendid on you. What exactly do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant Stationery, which is more of a hobby. Any chance I could meet Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Um, I'll be on my way. I'm gonna assume that I'm gonna have to go through another door in order to get inside. Oh my. I was not expecting it to be that simple. Excuse me, just a moment. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Uh, you should go back to your desk. I saw somebody eyeing your stationery. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Okay. So I suppose this is what happened to his former office. He just knocked a big old hole into it. Just goes to show you never really see your hometown till you travel with a visitor. That's true. All right, let's save our game. And see what we can find. All right. Chairman, the rough cut of the presentation is prepared to play. The PR department has a lot of work to do, but we cover the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board's scientists are working on a solution. Workers can look forward to the lifetime employment program for their chance to contribute. You'll see the current version when you print your keycard for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. And yes, before you ask, the dimethyl sulf sulfoxide has been delivered there. Uh, it's waiting for your sign-off on the board stroke, so I wanted to make sure you saw it. Don't worry, I'll make sure it gets properly edited. Um... I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I suppose everything one will slowly stop soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Thusly, the, uh, uh, the reason why he's storing all this dimethyl sulfoxide. Of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, We'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. All right. That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. Ah, uh, better to live fast and die young than live fast and die frozen.
Uh, Purvisil, how long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Toss Clark's belongings into the streets of Byzantium, for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at that hole in the wall. And for the law's sake, do something about that doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make this announcement sound like a damned funeral elegy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. Percival, reschedule my regular Wednesday massage. I have urgent matters to attend to off-site. Chairman, I've made inquiries and concurrent firm that we have plenty of food, real food, stored away from our inter-colony trade. The tr nutritional profile of food produced within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start feeling hungry no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but what we have will sustain Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future. Uh, Chairman, the heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about their shares again. As head of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know they're at it again. And let's send the message to Earth. All right. Where did you two go, anyway? All right. Well, now that's done. Where do I... Where is the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale? Oh, it's still in the Acropolis. Oh. All right. I think this is where we're going to stop for the night. Got any suggestions for some to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.